once again, people, and welcome to yet another quick C modification exploration in the never-ending series of various things that we are checking out. Anyway, this time around, we're checking out the fireball. We're sending things on fire. Anyway, this is a patch that modifies your rocket launcher, so it shoots those fireballs that the episode one boss shoots. Okay, so it also causes a lot more damage. Um, so it also modifies the zombie code so you can kill crucified zombies with extra jibs, of course. Um, by the way, you better be a long way away when you launch one of these babies. They really do some damage. And they can really boost you up in the air if you have, um, a super jump or something similar. Um, you better have God mode on if you want to try it, though. So yeah, a really overpowered rocket launcher. Wow, well... Hooray! Another overpowered gun, because we haven't had enough of those! Well, let's check you out anyway, even though this is a freaking overpowered thing that's like, why do they exist? Are, are people really this, um, uh, bad at Quake that they needed, like, these overpowered things? Um, so yeah. He stole the zombie patch from, um, the guy who did the homing missile, because he had wanted to be able to kill those uh, annoying crucified zombies. He had no idea how to do it. Um, this one's made by Fruit Bat. Let's load up the thing and play it because this is a godforsaken level. That's, let's just see how overpowered this thing is. So, um, yeah, let's get this out of the way. You can shoot the zombies. You can shoot crucified zombies. That's a thing. Yeah. And this is actually a good area to actually test out that um, rocket launcher because now that you can kill the crucified zombies, you can shoot this really freaking overpowered thing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Two more overpowered than I thought. How far away did that have to be? Well, this is going to be the hardest challenge in the world. We're gonna, like, have to go to, like, a level. We're gonna have to, like, shoot things. The hardest part's actually staying alive. Let's go, like, impulse 9, give it, and then, like, change level to something else. So we have it constantly. But, yeah, you just shoot one. Amazing. I, I, I feel like a real winner. Just shoot it at the wall and you, like, do better. You see, it's just ridiculously overpowered to the point that you basically just shoot it and clears out an entire freaking room. Hey, is it a skill that I'm able to, like, shoot these things and not die? Oh, look at that. I just broke. I broke something. So you see, the biggest stage is the fact that these have, like, such wide radiuses that it's like you're gonna die because of that. But it's, like, great if you have, have like, guide mode on. So you see, it's basically, you don't shoot it close to you. It's like you shot here and you damage them way over there. That that tells you how overpowered this freaking thing is. Like I would need to like try name. Aiming is for wusses! Aiming is for wusses and grandmas! I'm neither, so here we are! And a normal one. Who's a man? I'm a big man! I got 12 of us a big! I'll oh, read right over this! It's one way to clear the entire sections. I feel really amazing! Hi there!
So you see, that's really the big thing about this one. Now, how much damage does it cause? It causes a ridiculous amount. Stupid question, can I kill a shambler with this? Can, is it powerful enough to kill a shambler one hit? It requires three shots to kill a shambler still, so that's something, right? Yeah. Now, of course, you don't even have to shoot it directly. It seems like the splash damage, normal, are like the same, so it's like... It's like no point to like even... How do I kill multiple things using one bullet? Thank God, I, I didn't want that spawn there. See, it's a room of clear the fire, or whatever you call it. Which is so freaking overpowered. Oh, well, I actually bumped out of the game. Oh, well, I was getting out anyway. So here we are. Fireball. Most ridiculous overpowered rocket launcher you could ever get. Are you happy? No, not really. This is kind of another boring one because it's so freaking overpowered. Like, why do people want these? Why do people want so many overpowered guns? I don't get it. When, like, veterans of Quake want to make the game harder, not a lot easier? Here's a gun that makes it so you can kill everything in one shot! Why? That, uh, you, you want the game to be ridiculously nerfed? I, I just don't understand the mindset behind any of this. It, it, it feels very strange to, to me. Why people want so much overpowered stuff. Um... Yes, it might be nice for a little bit of gratuitous violence, but at the same time, th this is even like, Quake doesn't really have like slaughter maps or stuff like that. It doesn't have massive amounts of enemies that you can just kill and, and have like, you know, that graphic violence. If you want something like that, you better off playing something like Doom. So, I'm not really sure why exactly people are going for the whole overpowered mindset. And it's not just Quake, it's every game usually ends up with uh, some mods that like make things harder, and then usually a lot of mods that make things a lot easier. Needless to say, it's rather difficult to sift through because you end up having to sift through a lot of things that make the game nerfed instead of making it more of a fun challenge. Which, like I said, is really weird coming from the idea that these are supposed to be veterans who know the original game and thus probably should be trying to make things a little bit more of a challenge. So, um, yeah, I just don't understand it. I, I, I really don't. More overpowered guns for our... Well, reasons that I can't really explain. But yeah, it's here. I documented it. I, I, I find no other real purpose for it. And I guess I shall see you all next time.